Well, a beautiful bank holiday. Hopefully it is where you are, but we're starting off here at QVC very appropriately with gardening. And we've been looking at all sorts of jobs, not just still the beautiful plants, the fantastic today's special value. And now we're going to look at a wheelbarrow booster. We've got Joe with us. Joe, lovely. Hello. Welcome Hello. to QVC. And your dad invented this, did he? Uh, my father invented this 20 years ago. He's a landscape gardener. He's uh, sick to death of going to the compost heap every two minutes and he wanted to find some way of getting more into his wheelbarrow very easily and this is what he came up with. Well let me give you details because we're looking at a brilliant price here of £13.50 that potentially can save you a lot of hassle and a lot of work. It is the wheelbarrow booster. You've not seen it before. It's brand new today. 503821. So how does it actually do the job then? It's a very very simple invention. Um, as I said you've got a full wheelbarrow here. I mean most people in their gardens they've got the, the, the bag got leaves in the autumn or they've got grass clippings coming through right now or they're oh, clearing the garden. Compost and things around. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And a large wheelbarrow, they're cumbersome and they're very expensive as well. They can weigh up to 30 kilograms and I think they yeah. cost around 200 pounds. Yeah. So we figured that a nice, easy, simple way is just all we've got to do is lower, especially silastic, around the bottom here. Yeah. Reinforce tarpaulin. Yeah. Literally pull it up either side until you've got a uniform lateral go there uh -huh. up, so put the bottom there we are in one corner you've got to do all four corners yeah just to get it sitting right just to increase that capacity exactly oh, wow. huge amount exactly there you yeah. go so have you doubled the capacity uh 300 percent and that was full 300 that was full beforehand and it's not going to take all of there this. you go there's one it's not going to take <laughs> that is brilliant it's like there you go there's two at the very least and i think we could probably get another half at least yeah, in as well half of another one that is phenomenal there we go. isn't it and that is us and you'd only have one oh. trip then you'd be going around your garden etc yeah. you'd only have one trip you'd pick it up you'd wheel it away fantastic it's been recommended by a lot of gardening, uh, well, a lot of gardening experts uh, yeah. over the last couple of yeah. years, uh, gardening magazines, etc. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we feel it does a very good job. It's a very simple tool. And so at the end of the day, obviously, you can pack it flat again, so yep. you can store it around easily. Yep. But how robust is it? How long is it going to last? This is reinforced tarpaulin. Yeah. Uh, we've, uh, we've used these, as I said, 15, 20 years. We've got some that are 10 years of age. Uh, this uh, won't puncture easily whatsoever. Right. Right. It is uh, sturdy. And the more you put in it the beauty is the more rigid it becomes now if you put something heavier in it yes um, would it would it give way or can it take the weight it can take a good weight uh, it's like used that. in a, a lot of stables in the equestrian world for bedding and horse manure and mucking oh, yeah, out really? etc yeah. because they have a very very big wheelbarrows yeah. but they don't often tend to be used so they buy a normal smaller wheelbarrow they'll put one of these on they'll fill it full of bedding or hay or manure etc and they'll wheel away again well, what I love about it is that you can use it you know, temporarily if you like. Yep. If you just, you know, in the garden, you've got a load of stuff you need yeah. to do. But the fact, you know, it's wheeling up and down the garden with a wheelbarrow, and you have to do time <laughs> and time again, all these different sort of trips. But this, this is really It is, clever, and, and as it? you say, you know, very robust as well, because yeah. here we've just got leaves. But this could be twigs, this could be branches, this could be all twigs. sorts. We've seen people moving logs in them. Easily. No, no, no. Uh, this will last you a fair few years. Yeah. And uh, once you're done, you just pop it off. You wipe it down, you fold it away, and you go from the uh, go again. And the beauty is the elastic, especially the elastic. It will go back to its original yeah, shape. Yeah. It will fit most wheelbarrows. Period. Anything from 103 to 117 inch rim. Really? We've done our homework. Well, no, on this side. that was going to be my next question. Yeah. About if anyone's sitting at home thinking, well, you know, is, it, is that actually going to fit my wheelbarrow? For example, you've yeah. already thought about that. Yeah. Yes, I mean, as I said, we never actually invent. My father never invented this to sell. He invented it to solve a problem. Yeah. He's had right. dozens and hundreds of different wheelbarrows over his time. I mean, he's a landscape gardener. Yeah. It's a gardening product for uh, by a gardener for a gardener, yeah. mm -hmm. and we feel that you know it, it will work quite happily, and uh, people have always been very very happy with uh, the results, and we've never had a complaint yet. What? The value. I mean, yeah, 30 pounds 50 is fantastic. So it's like, it, it, you know, if you do need it from time to time, it will repay it. But if you're going to use it, t you know, a lot of time, yeah, it's yeah, absolutely amazing yeah, value yeah. as well. And think but of it all It's going to last hassle. for years yeah, as it's well. It's going to last. It's going to yeah. save you a lot of hassle. But if you do, maybe you do, maybe you're not quite a landscape gardener, but you do do not just your own garden, yeah. but you've got maybe parents' garden. Or down the allotment or something yeah, like that. This is, this, you're going to need something like this. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You don't always have to fill it to the top. It'll just stop things blowing away if it's a windy day, etc. 
horse as well. Is clever. Um, yeah. um, so no, uh, it can be used. And I said a, a large wheelbarrow that can cost a few hundred pounds, and you don't want to spend that. You'd rather get some good value, a good value tool here that you can use whenever you want to, yeah. and on your standard wheelbarrow. Yeah. Now, in terms of emptying it later yes. on, what's your tip? Would, would you t tip the barrow that way, or would you? You can do it to, uh, either way you really want. If yeah. you wheel it onto your compost heap, yeah. then you could uh, just pull it off; it'll yeah. pop off, yeah. and you'll tip. Or you can actually tip it with it yeah. and yeah. away, yeah. and, and, uh, it and yeah. put it yeah. back down. And yeah. uh, a lot of times, it'll even stay on, and you'll rego. And if it does pop off, then it only takes five seconds to put back on. But what I love is the rigidity of it. I mean, yeah. it, it's obviously flexible enough to fit around everything, but it can take all of the weight as well. And it's tough. You can tell that. Yeah. I mean, but it's how easy well to put on. Is. It's just like a little yeah. skirt, really, for yeah. the wheelbarrow. Exactly. You know, and then you pull it up, and it's it's rigid enough, as you say, yeah. to you know take maybe some of the heavier items without it all yeah. sort of going all over the yeah. place. If you want to go for yours, it's thirteen pounds and fifty pence. It is the wheelbarrow booster five zero one eight two one is your item number. Joe, thank you very much yes, indeed. Thank you. Absolutely Thanks brilliant. What a great idea. We are, however, just going to remind you of the hanging basket.